everybody. Welcome to my coffee break. Today I'm going to be trying a, a nitro coffee and it's called Stumptown Hairbender Nitro Cold Brew Coffee. Hairbender is the name of a shop, a uh, hair parlor, uh, that used to house the Stumptown um, coffee shop or cafe. And uh, I thought I'd try this. This is supposed to have uh, chocolate, notes of chocolate, and citrus. So we're going to try this and see. I saw this at, uh, I think I got this at Whole Foods. So, and this one was about two, no, three, three eighty nine or something like that. So we're going to try that and see. I have tried uh, Stumptown coffee before. And it was just a regular coffee and it was actually pretty good. Let me see if I could open this up. Oh, there we go. And here we go. We're going to pour it in our glass. Ready, set, go. You have to pour it fast so the crema could come and the nitro is released. There we go. There it is. Oh, it smells really good. Let's see how it is. Wait, wait before we take it taste of it let's see what's in it um it's infused nitro coffee and it has oh, for 20 calories for the whole can and I'm, I'm trying to see you know it doesn't uh, well of course it has no sugar in it it's this naturally sweetened because of the nitro the nitro makes it uh kind of sweet tastes sweet and where are they from? Let's see. Portland, Oregon. They're from Portland, Oregon. It says there's three things that makes the world go round and around. We've uh, harnessed them in the, this can. Take a sip of the sweet, uh, let's see, Exeler, and fill, fill the wind puff from your sails. All right. And setting off in a hurricane. What? <laughs> uh, it's like you're setting off on a sailboat in a hurricane, it says. But you got the tailwind. So there we go. Let's see. That looks really good. Look how the crema builds up. And you can see the nitro bubbles. So this should be really good. Let's give it a try. Oh, that is real good. Uh, the crema makes, it's, um, this is a dark coffee. As you can see, it's dark, but it's a dark roasted coffee. And it really has a good flavor. The crema is like really smooth and tasty. And the coffee is like really good. Wow, Stumptown, you did a good job. And you can see that the crema is like when you take a drink, it just builds up on the sides of the glass. Good job, Stumptown. I got this at Whole Foods, like I said, I think it was like three ninety-eight, almost four dollars for this. Um 10.3 fluid ounces of coffee and it's a 305 milliliter can and I was wondering why they call it hairbender and it's because they named it after a hair salon or hair parlor they said um, in the old uh, cafe that they had let's see let me pick something oh there we go you can see the edge of my backdrop. Oh, there you go. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty cool. And they're from Portland, Oregon. So that's pretty, they were established in 1999. I thought they were around longer than that. But and that was must have been pretty tough, right? They started in nine. Uh, well, no, yeah, 1999. Two years later, um, COVID hit, right? So, 
No. No, Ken. You, you, you know. <laughs> no, 20, 20, 20 is when COVID hit. Cut it out, Ken. Wake up. <laughs> there you go. 1999. That's been a good while ago. So, um, yeah. Almost 23 years ago. That's when they started. Sometown. They do, they do make a, a hairbender whole bean coffee too. And they have all kinds of different coffees. It says the highest quality coffee that you can get. I don't know about, well, they, their, their, their standards, it's the highest quality coffee that they produce. Is that Stumptown? Oh, that's really good. It really has a good coffee taste. And I do, I, I feel that um, the citrus, I, I can actually taste that. But usually that's, uh, that toward the end I taste that. Let's see. I think I got somebody on Twitch. I don't see anybody on YouTube yet. And Facebook Live, I don't see anybody either. But that's okay. Came in, came in to, uh, came on to review this coffee and it's really good. If you see this at Whole Foods or whatever grocery you go to, uh, give it a shot. Taste it and see what it is. And it's actually really good. And what's convenient is um, you can take it with you and then have it on, and go on a trip or something. Or any of that if you're just going going out, running errands, grab, grab a can of coffee. And uh, sometimes you need an extra kick of caffeine like at the end of the, toward the end of the day, like five o'clock. And you need that little kick. You can get a can of coffee. Here we go. Well, thank you everybody for joining me today on my coffee break. I, I reviewed uh, Some Town Hairbender Nitro Cobrew Coffee, and it is actually pretty good. I liked it, so I had to give it almost almost a, a four point eight coffee cups out of five coffee cups. But yeah, it's really good. Well, thank you for joining me today on my coffee break, and we'll see you next time on Ken Rod's Coffee Break. And remember, coffee and friends make a perfect blend. So thank you for stopping by and having a coffee with me. We'll see you next time. Bye everyone.